It's been two weeks since the last game due to internationals. How's the team shaping up ahead of this weekend's game? Yeah, I mean, fine. It's, it's, it's given us a chance to, to, to reflect um, on where we are at this present time. Um, I think we go into the game in terms of, obviously, on the back of two, two positive results. Um, in terms of the team news, um, we've had Tom Huddleston back training with us. Um, George Honeyman's been back training. Uh, obviously, Alfie Jones and, and Brandon um, we've had a bit of a bad news and Alfie's going to be out for three or four weeks maybe. Uh, Brandon, um, again, something similar, around a similar sort of time frame. Um, but everybody else is fine and um, we're pleased. The international players have come back uh, today. Both, oh, sorry, all three of them has trained. Um, and, you know, it was nice for them to, to be picked and, and, and called upon for the countries. Obviously, Josh came on in the first game and, and started the second. Callum didn't play in any of the games um, and Matt didn't play, but I said to him this morning, you know, to be picked for your country and, and to, be, to be asked to go and represent them and be it around the squad is, is you know, a proud moment um, for them and their family. So we're pleased to have them all back. What are the issues with Alfie and Brandon? Um, Alfie's obviously you've seen in the game against Blackpool, he's, he's tried to, you know, defend the ball that's, that's gone down the side of him and he's just, he's just felt his hamstring. Um, it's a bit of a, a grade, I think it's a grade two on his hamstring, which is going to be three, four weeks. So he'll be working hard in the gym to try and build that up. Uh, Brandon took a knock uh, in the 23s game, uh, the same day of the Blackpool game, actually. Um, so not only did we lose Callum Elder after that game, we lose Brandon on the same day. Um, again, it's, 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 it's his knee, um, but we'll see how he, how he copes with the, with the treatment. How have you spent this international break? What work has been done over the last two weeks? Um, initially, the early part of the week, um, again, was just reflecting on, on the two games that we've just had, or the last game we've just had, um, and giving the boys a little bit of downtime the first first day or two. Um, but then, since then, we've been working very hard on the training ground, uh, a lot of tactical work, a lot of information, um, a lot of fitness work, and also, you know, just, um, again, trying to get some of the players back off the injury table, which is pleasing at the minute, because we are, but we seem to be getting people back and losing one. Um, but it's nice now, we've got a healthy squad to pick from. We've got 20 players, outfield players, two very good goalkeepers. Um, you know, we're going to have 10 happy, 10 not so happy. Um, but that's the nature of the squad and that's what we all want. You know, the players want that, the staff want that and we want good competition. As you alluded to, the international break is a good opportunity to take stock of what's happened so far. How do you reflect on the first 11 games? Average, average. Um, well, in terms of our points total anyway. Very average, um, but I think that in, in there we've had some really good performances. I think the last two games has given us a real uh, sense of belief. Um, you know, the message was to the players before the Middlesbrough game is, you know, they're six points ahead of us. Can we make a three? Uh, we've done that. Again, we go into a game at the weekend uh, with a team who's had a really good start um, on the verge of the playoffs. And credit to Huddersfield, but we know if we can go there and get three points, we can go five points behind them. Um, that's how tight the division is. You know, it's really, really tight and you win two, three games, you can propel yourself straight up to the, straight up the league. Um, and that's our aim and that's our focus. But, you know, the outcome is to do that, is to go and win on Saturday. We've got to make sure we get the processes right and we've got to make sure we, we focus on what we've done in the training ground, you know, for the last 10 days, um, especially the next two days and, and, and try and go, go and deliver the plan. The draw against Blackpool and the victory against Middlesbrough especially will have been a big confidence boost for the players. How important is it now that they build on that uh, heading into this run of fixtures? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, the Blackpool game was, 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 was great in terms of the fact that we lost Louis. We're 1-0 down. Um, the subs came on, made an impact. Um, I think that's a big pleasing point for us for the last two games is the, is, is the, is the impact of the bench. Um, helped us get a point. You know, Tom Eves coming off the bench and, and, and scoring against Blackpool and then Mali coming off the bench and scoring against Middlesbrough. So the bench has made a huge, you know, huge impact. Not only that, Sean McLaughlin's come on in the, the one with the 30th, 35th minute or something like that against Middlesbrough and looked great. So on the back of those two games, we, we were excellent in terms of how we responded to the, to, to the going down to 10 men. And in the Middlesbrough game, we knew we had to work hard. We had to land on second balls. We had to be ready for the fight against the Neil Warnock team and I thought we did that. Um, the crowd were brilliant on the night, you know, it was the loudest I heard the fans for a while. Obviously we haven't had them, you know, for, for the best part of a year and a half. So it was great to, sh we could get to give them a victory, you know, because um, they hadn't seen it much and they didn't see us in the, in the promotion season. Um, but we stuck, we, we stuck to the plan, we stayed strong and we scored two excellent goals to win the game. 
on Malik, what will that goal do for his confidence? Yeah, hopefully it'll, it'll, it'll boost his confidence. Malik has actually trained very well over the past week or so. Um, looking better, looking more like himself. I think the goals obviously helped him. Uh, you know, he's coming back from injury. He's, he's been, I think I touched on it probably a few weeks back when I said, look, we, we've thrown him straight into the deep end. Uh, not a lot of time to train in terms of game recover, game recover. Um, but this two weeks, he's worked very hard. He's, had, he's been in when the players have had a, a day off. He's worked in the afternoons. Um, we just need to try and get him up to speed because we know that he's such a big player for us when, when he's firing. So hopefully he reaps the rewards of the, of the last couple of weeks and obviously that goal against Middlesbrough. One player really impressed against Middlesbrough, 21 today, Dijon Bernard. How impressed have you been with the step up he's made from Championship? To the championship. Yeah, I mean, again, Deshaun's a, a young player, up, up and coming player. Um, you know, he's in the games he's played, he's played against some top top forwards. You know, we think he made his debut against Fulham, against Mitrovic, and he handled him very well. I know he scored, um, but Deshaun, in a hole in the game, was was very good against him. Um, and and he's impre- he's improving all the time. He's a young boy. Um, he's a good character. The boys love him around the training ground. His, his performances against Middlesbrough was excellent. Um, and again, we're looking forward to, to continue that uh, the development in his, his plan. We've had Man United come down and visit us and see how he's getting on, which was great. And we had some good feedback from them. So, yeah, he's doing really well. Huddersfield are just outside the top six. What have you made of them so far this season? Very good start. Very good start. I mean, they, obviously, they, they, they didn't start too well in terms of their first one or two games, whatever. But after that, they've got stronger. Um, you know, the manager in there has got a certain style of playing. Um, they seem as if they've got a good unity there, um, so it's a tough game. Um, you know, we're, we know we're going to be back by two, two and a half thousand fans, um, and we're looking forward to you know seeing our fans there on the day, and we want to go there and try and put a good performance on them. How big a boost is that for the players to walk out and see those fans behind the goal cheering them on? Yeah, I mean it's it's, it's huge. I think we've seen it here. Then we've been Sheffield United come to, to our place, and behind the goal was packed with their fans. We've seen it again uh, with Middlesbrough behind the goal was packed with their fans and it, it does give you a boost and um, you know I seem to back to the Preston game we had quite a, quite a number of fans there and we won the game so look, the outcome is we want to go there and try and win the game but we've got to make sure we, 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 um, we get the plan right and we go and deliver it.